Mm, that was pretty good actually. Just do a bit up here and then down so we can get the bodies. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Scotty from SBL, and today I'm going to be showing you the metronome exercise every single bass player should be using every single time you pick up the bass to build your groove and sense of internal time. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into this, you will need a metronome and it just so happens that I've got a badass one for you and it is completely free. You can also, you can get it on the App Store as well and you can download a desktop version of it. It's called the SBL Groove Trainer. You can see it right here. Okay, so it's got a metronome in it. It's got a, I'll show you some of the cool stuff it's got in it. It's got a tuner in it. Ah! Mm, that was pretty good actually. It's got a tuner in it. It's got drum loops in it. If you want to, you know, play a bunch of drum loops, so hopefully you're, you are practicing along with drum grooves every day. And it's also got star loops in it as well. So you can play along with the likes of Nate Wood here. We've got, yeah, Nate Wood. We've got Darren Stanley. We've got Gergo Borelai. We've got Mark Julian. We've got a bunch of really fantastic drummers in here. And the reason why we put this together is so bass players like you and I can practice with some of the best drummers in the world every time we pick up the bass from the comfort of our own home. And it is totally free. Again, you can get it on the App Store or you can click the link down in the description and it will take you through a through to a page and you'll be able to get access to the, the desktop version totally for free. Now, metronome, exercise, let's jump into this. First of all, let me just sort of like give you a caveat. This metronome exercise isn't about playing faster or more precise or anything like that. It's actually about building your own internal time and feeling really confident with it. Because if there's any gigging bass players out there watching this video right now, there probably is. What's it like when you're playing a groove on a gig and the drums drop out for whatever reason? You know, they drop a stick or they're like, yeah, crack, and then they stop playing and they want you to kind of sort of like carry on the groove. A lot of the time, especially if you're an inexperienced player, it's gonna feel like somebody's just sort of like snatched away. Wow, really? <laughs> the the sort of like the, the crutch you were leaning on, right? And you're kind of exposed and you feel your internal time wavering. And that is because your internal time isn't that great, okay? And that is a, just to make you feel okay about that, okay, lots of bass players, lots and lots and lots of bass players suffer from that, okay? When they play, they get very used to playing and leaning on the drummer and the rest of the band to really hold them in time, okay? And if you take all of that away, they kind of lose the groove, lose the pocket, and that is because they haven't been working on their internal time. So this metronome exercise I'm gonna show you today is great for doing that exact thing, okay? So with the Groove Trainer, uh, metronome here. There's a bunch of different things you can do with this, right? There's sort of like you can change the meter there, you can change the subdivision down there, you can, there is a bunch of different things. There's speed training, there's internal rhythm training where it'll play a full bar and then you'll have like a bar of silence or however many bars of silence. It is one of the best metronomes out there, again, totally free. So, Let's start off with the metronome on four beats of the bar. So we've got a beat on every single um, beat of the bar, and we've got it on 95 BPM, 4-4, four, four, okay? So three, four, oh, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now, once you've got your metronome set up, the next step is to come up with a groove. You can improvise your own groove, you can compose your own groove, you can use a famous groove that you've learned, whatever, right? But you're gonna play it along with the metronome at whatever speed you decide, okay? So I'm gonna use 95 BPM, I'm gonna improvise a groove in E minor. A two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, whatever, right? Just having a bit too much fun there. Now the next step is to actually get rid of one of the beats. So let's get rid of beat one. Okay, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. The reason why we're doing this is to remove part of the crutch that we're leaning on, okay? We're putting it on ourselves to actually create the groove, okay? Or into our internal time, okay? So, one, two, three, four, and then you play the same groove. Four. <laughs> Okay, so once you've done that, again, we're now going to remove another one, okay? So this is going to be beat three. So now we've got just the back beat. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, now the next step is to remove another one, okay? So we're going to remove another one, and we're going to remove beat two, okay? And all while we're doing this, we really want to be feeling really comfortable with the groove, sitting in the pocket, and not, you know, not it flamming against the actual metronome, okay? So let's remove this. It's going to be on beat four, okay? So two, three, four. Hang on. Here we go. So what I did there is actually, I well, I'm frankly messed it up. I actually felt myself drifting. And so what I did there is I could feel it on the four and I was just slightly off. So I just left it, left it, and I felt it. And then I pulled it back in. I was like, that's where it is. And then I locked in. And that is a really, really valuable skill to be able to feel it pulling away and then lean back into it, okay? So it gives you the ability to adjust your placement of the groove in real time as you're doing it. So for me, that was a really invaluable exercise that I used to go through and still frankly do. Every single time I pick up the bass, I try and do a few different exercises like this, working with a metronome to just work on my internal groove and my time, okay? It really, really helps. Now, once you've done that, and I really do recommend that you try this out today, like get this metronome and do this exact exercise because then you'll be able to get an exact read on where your internal time is, right? Do you have it dialed in and are you able to adjust like I just have then, okay? It's a yes or no answer, okay? So for me, for a long time it was a no, but I've been working on it for years and now it's a yes, okay? So work, it will give you an exact read on whether you can do this or not. It is brutal, but great for your, um, great to know what you should be working on with your playing. It's brutal because it's not sometimes nice to know, oh, my timing's off, way off, ugh, horrible, but it's worth it, okay? So get this, go get the metronome and do this exercise today. Again, you can get it in the App Store or the link is down below for the desktop version. And then when once you've done that, once you've been practicing 
Um, once you've been practicing a groove like that, then what does it feel to go and actually do that with a drummer? So let me find if we can get one around sort of like 95 BPM here. Um, well, this is 90 BPM. So let's put, this is Gergo Borlai, who is a fantastic drummer. <laughs> My word, what a beast. So good. Let's see what Gergo sounds like. So I can play that same groove now with Gergo and experiment with the placement of it and really relying on my own internal time for the, you know, for how it feels in terms of the pocket. Boom. <laughs> So that's about it for today, but before you go anywhere, I want you to do me a massive favor. Once you go and do that test, you know the groove test where we were like, we had it on four beats of the bar, then we remove one, remove one, and it went all the way down for the last, and then we just had it on beat four of the groove, okay? What I want you to do is once you've gone and done that test and got a read for where you're at with it, come back and let me know in the comments, was it easy? Was it hard? Was it surprising? And what are you gonna do about it? Like, is it something that you're going to take on and work on every single day for the next few weeks? or months or not I would love to know in the comments and also it would be great to for everybody to share what they learned doing that test so we can all learn from each other as well I'm working on this stuff every single day just like you I'd love to know if there's anything you want to share down in the comments below and again remember it's totally free you can get it in the app store just search groove trainer or Scott's bass lessons you'll find it and you can get the desktop version totally free as well down below the link is in the description click that it'll take you through to the page you can get it there and hopefully the groove trainer will become an everyday everyday blah, 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 can't speak today an everyday practice tool for you every single time you pick up the bass now with that said take it easy and i'll see you in the shed <laughs>